Oh my gosh, it's actually working. Hey everybody, this is Amanda with Brownie Stitch Love and we're actually going to try to do a video on my laptop today. Um, it kind of looks kind of creepy, so I'm going to do a test run and see how this video looks. And it's kind of weird when you're videoing and you can see yourself. Um, you can kind of see all your bad habits. I'm in my study. Oh my gosh. And as you can tell, my youngest, uh, my, my oldest, put the puzzle up. Didn't he do a great job? Isn't that incredible? Um, I tried to work today and I couldn't because I have, as you can see, pink eye. I've never had pink eye in my entire life, which I probably just risked myself again. So here comes the hand sanitizer. I'm in my study. Mr. Lighty Man is here with us. Um, we're going to do a brief haul video and I'm going to try to shoot this and make it work. And then I'm going to edit it and see if we can turn out to make an actual vi good video. Um, this is my first time using my laptop, so we'll see what happens. Um, I am in my week of finals and for criminal justice elective for my classes. And I am reading The Call by um, Oz Guinness. Oz Guinness. Um, if you ever have a chance to pick up this book, you guys, this is a very intense, amazing, amazing amazing book and i'm scratching my nose again ha you find all sorts of stuff when you watched yourself in your video so yeah here's the the call um very interesting i have to read through chapters eight and nine and then give my summation of the call and what that actually means to me um i'm gonna do a quick haul video and kind of video stuff that i have collected and I hope that this stuff behind you doesn't distract you entirely too much. Look at my orange fingers. Ah! My friend said, was it professional? And I went, no, it was me and my daughter sitting on my bed painting nails. When my son, the last video that I sh shot was in April. And we were in our hotel at the Kentucky Expo Center for the robotics convention. And... I wanted a souvenir from Kentucky, and I wanted a special souvenir from Kentucky. So I told my husband to take me to a needlepoint shop. Well, there's a certain area in Kentucky, if you take the wrong road, then you end up in Indiana. Which, uh, wait, was it? Yeah, it was Indiana. We laugh about that now, because I'm like, we dropped my son off at the Expo Center. We were going to go pick up some lunch and bring it back. And I was going to take like 10 minutes to go in this cross-stitch store, which it didn't take long because everything that I wanted, they did not have. So I wanted just a surprise, something I wanted, something from my wish list, and I was hoping I would get it. And the three things that I wanted, two things that I wanted, they didn't have. But uh, they did have something on the list. But the name of the business is, and let's see here, The Finishing Touch. Um, and that's their phone numbers and everything, and I hope you're seeing this not backwards. I'm sure you aren't, but I'm a little freaked out right now. Their hours are right here posted, and they're in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I was able to walk in. I wanted, um, I fell in love with Plum Street Samplers since they've done the free series on the um, 12 Days of Christmas, and so I started looking at their website more, and I just fell more and more in love with their designs and so the pattern that i chose i wanted olga's tart they didn't have it and i wanted jeans and weenies and they didn't have that but they did have betsy's tart and so i was able to pick up betsy's tart i'm going to take it out of the bag so you can see it and maybe it won't have a glare on it that way why are you so heavy there's like nothing to you yeah, I talked to my patterns. I mean, it's heavy. I mean, it shouldn't be heavy. Oh, well. The pattern is inside this little leaflet, and I'm kind of weird. I'd probably staple it in there. But it's Betsy's Tart by Plum Street Samplers, and it is stitched on, I have to look it up, 36 Count Gathering Gray, which that's not what this is. She wrote it down. Oh, it is 36 Count Liberty Gathering Gray, which I think is punishment, like, prison punishment um it is very tiny um literally i don't know if you can see my hand behind it but to me i just think this count is very tiny um i need to edge and press this and get it ready 
I did go to Walmart and Michaels on my journey and pick up the recommended DMC floss. Um, so maybe you'll maybe you'll see this. All right, I'm gonna put this up. All right, and the other thing that I got, because I love roosters and all things roosters. Oh, sorry, the tart pan. Excuse you, what are you doing? What are you? Laddie is in here kicking up the rug in the floor. Bubba, what are you doing? You're making it comfy, huh? Okay, and here is the tart pan, and here is the bottom. And so, it made this clanky sound the whole entire time that we were driving down the road and my husband was none too none too thrilled with listening to that so I had to, to repat that and then I needed some petite treasure braid and this is PB27 so I picked that up while I was there and that saved me a trip to go to another store and then I picked up a snippet thankful string that was marked down for three dollars and fifteen cents hey bae Joe come on come on and uh, that made me happy so there you go and then I picked up Autumn Harvest Pins Mill Hill for $3.50. And it's got a little chicken on it. Y'all see the little chicken? Ooh, let me see if I can turn it into the light so you won't have a glare. Yep. So that's what I picked up when I was in Kentucky. When I got back from Kentucky, I had some awesome things delivered in the mail. And I was going to show you two thrift store finds, and then I'm going to end this video to see how it does. I'm sorry. I can't stop smelling it. Um, it's April Fresh Downy Fabric Softener. It's probably not good for me to use, but I used it anyway. I went to a thrift store, and I got this 14-count um, Ada, navy blue Ada, for like 75 cents. It was brand new in the package, but the plastic on the package was torn, and so it was marked down to 75 cents. And then I got this 14 count ivory. Maybe this is 16 count. I'm going to have to count it out and look. Didn't have to. I did watch this one too. Sorry. If you are a Downy fan, April Fresh Downy, please let me know because I'm absolutely just, I'm, I'm obsessed with this smell. I've actually converted some friends over to be Downy fans as well. Um, I watched this one too and then did it with April Fresh Downy and then pressed it which i don't know why i did because it's wrinkled again and i actually need to search these but in my mailbox was now how do we open you i've already opened you once um under the sea fabrics uh did their fabric of the month and this was my first time to experience this and so i went with I like linen I really do but at the same time it gives me a headache and so it just really I don't know what it is it gives me a headache but we've had my vision checked and my eyes are fine so who knows what's going on um this is 14 count Ada and it's a 13 by 17 piece and it's opalescent but you're not gonna uh, I can hold it a certain way. You can, can just catch the little glints of the light. But it is a beautiful tie-dyed light blue color. Where am I? Oh, well. So that came in the mail. There's also some needle miners that came in the mail. And one of these days, I'm going to sit down and write down who got me what and show you every one of them. Because I kind of got a little out of control with my needle minders recently. And, um... Nifty Needle Nannies, Mine Did My Minders, Gina's Unique Boutique, y'all are there to support my dirty little secrets and my habits, and then if I go to Hobby Lobby and I find jewelry that would make, make a great needle minder, then I do that too, and then my husband's aunt passed away and we helped clean up her house, and lo and behold, I found like four pins there. Um, I'm going to end this video right now, and I'm going to do a test run. And if it does great, and I can edit it great, it's going to be my little guinea pig, and it's 10 minutes long. So you guys can see the first smidgen of my haul video for April, May, and June. But this video concludes April 
except for a few needle binders and I'll dig those out April Hall so catch you on the flip side